All right, guys. I'm actually on my property, and uh, we had kind of a, a dusting of snow last night. And uh, I got my trail cameras still out here in the woods that overlook my food plot. That I made the previous year. And uh, last evening, uh, I was pretty pumped. I had a couple bunnies that I knew that were running around. And And uh, lo and behold, Mr. Old Bobcat came came through. So um, decided to come out here and set a couple snares. So figured I'd kind of show you guys on how I go about it. I want tip to when you do decide what tree you're gonna set on. You know, always approach the trail perpendicular, so you can you can barely see it because we had some snow. You might be able to kind of see it up here. The bobcat. This is actually a rabbit predator trail coming in through here. I actually have a snare on the on the, on the backside um, of this thicker stuff. So, but this this is a this is a great. A great scenario where he's going to end up eventually walking through. So I keep it. I mean, we got some pretty deep snowfall right now. So I try to keep it about eight inches up off the ground. And this, this is perfect because there's, he's, he's guided in by this tree and he's guided in by all these little sticks and everything. So it's in a, in a way it's a natural, he has to pass through it. So when he's coming along, he's just gonna, you know, essentially put his head in there and you can kind of see where he's been sneaking around under the brush. You know, and when you, when you, when you set your snare, I would just come in perpendicular to the trail that you're going to set on. And always keep in mind of the snow depth and that's going to dictate your height of your loop that you're going to have it at and uh you know the the importance to me for predator management especially at my house i mean i i raise turkeys i raise chickens and uh i free range them in the summertime um but this bobcat's been coming here for the last two years and uh last year i put some snares out because i actually had a coyote that was coming really close to the yard by the chicken coop. Um, but I, I just couldn't get him for whatever reason. So he actually uh, came up to one of my traps and pissed on it. So you got to be very careful about your scent and everything. And when you're checking your snares, always walk in on the same footsteps that you, you got. I mean, you have to make footsteps to, to set your setup. But eventually with... As you can see, we still have a lot of a lot of snow up on the tree. So when we do get a pretty decent wind, especially this weekend after this negative uh, degree weather coming through, it's supposed to hit 30. So it'll start kind of knocking some of the snow off. So it'll cover up my tracks. So, um, but I'll be checking this on a daily. But I'll be checking it pretty far away where I could see it. So I ended up putting three snares in here. <laughs> Kind of long. He's actually walking a. I'll show you. I've got a barbed wire fence, fence line over here. He's actually walking the edge of it. He's coming up along my food plot that I made, and I got it all stretched out in there. You can see his trails coming up, and then he's jumping in the in the bunny trails in here in this thick stuff, and then he's ended up coming coming through the backside, and then looping back. So. I got till January 22nd. Uh, that's the bobcat season. It actually just opened up last weekend. So we'll see uh, see if I can get a kitty cat. And I'd be I'd be actually pretty darn happy if I got the coyotes that uh, have been running around here because in the springtime I've had their pups come up in my yard too, and uh, they end up uh, you know taking off when I go back in the house. So. Uh, but, you know, the importance of predator management, I know some people don't 
uh, think of it or uh, think it's cruel, but you know, it's it's got to happen. There's got to be management of it. Um, you know, and as long as long as there's infrastructure and and uh, humans overtaking their habitat, we have to manage that habitat so that other species in the whole ecosystem can thrive. So uh, I'm actually going to go out and set some more traps and stuff around. Um, it's Christmas weekend, so I'll have time to kind of really run and now run and, and check them. And this is the time where it's it's perfect snare snare setting conditions with the, the way the snowpack is and everything. So I think we're sitting at, we've got to be sitting at 18 inches of snow where we're at. So it's going to be good. Just look at these. So I'm standing in my food plot. He's running this trail along here. And then where I got him on pic, uh, camera was right in here. And then he skirted this pine tree and then went back around. So that's where the, the other uh, snares are. So just something to take in consideration when you're trying to, you know, trap and manage uh, your property.